Uh, here's your upcoming fights. Uh, not a very busy weekend. Not as, bu not as busy as I'd like, but lots of these fighters need, uh, need some time off. So this weekend is going to be pretty light, but starting up next week, uh, it's going to be pretty hefty, actually. Uh, in Paris, France, tomorrow night, we've got Anthony Massach against Andre Kudryavtsev for Masachi's European lightweight title. I'm not saying that again. Soleimane Mbe against Colin Linus. And that will take me through that whole card because everyone else is in French or Swahili. Uh, July 4th, that's our uh, that's this nation's Independence Day. That will be Saturday. But there are only fights in Germany and France. So in Vienna, France, we've got Anselmo Moreno against yep, Mayar Monchipur. 12 rounds for Moreno's WBA uh, Bantamweight title. That's Vienne, France. Also in Hamburg, Germany. Uh, Alexander Dimitrenko against our good friend uh, Fast Eddie Chambers, 12 rounds for the WBO heavyweight eliminator, which means the second Eddie Chambers beats Alexander Dimitrenko, he will, he will be the number one contender for the WBO heavyweight championship, which is owned by Vlad Klitschko. Interesting. <laughs> also, you've got Susie. Uh, no, that is Susie. I try to make these girly names... When they're for guys, <laughs> sound masculine, but it, it's a women's fight. So <laughs> that would be Susie. That would be Susie. <laughs> Susie Kentikian against Carolina Marcela Gutierrez. Yeah, that's the Wait. full main event on that fight. Carolina Marcela Gutierrez Gate Day. Yeah, that's ten rounds, female flyweights. Yeah, that's the co main event on that that uh, on that uh, that card. Uh, it's actually for a. Uh, um, a belt, a female belt. I'm not sure exactly which one, but that that's the second fight that's up on the poster. Uh, and obviously the big fight of the, the, this weekend is the Eddie Chambers fight. Uh, hopefully he can pull it out. He looked pretty good in his last fight. Uh, we had him on shortly after that. And, yeah, uh, he looked pretty good, yeah, against Sam Peter, against one of the hardest hitters in the heavyweight division. And, Too uh, bad he doesn't know how to box. <laughs> but Eddie Chambers is outstanding. And uh, he actually said he lost a little bit of weight, and uh, he's been... He's been uh, put adding a couple things into his repertoire that he think he could have beat uh, Pavetkin. I don't know if he's, it's going to line up quickly for uh, a Klitschko fight. Uh, he might have to fight Pavetkin again to get that shot, or Pavetkin might get the shot before him, then him, then Chambers. Could be interesting. I know that uh, Alexander Dimitrenko is an excellent heavyweight um, as far as up and coming. Has he really been tested though? Eddie Chambers has been tested. Yes. I, all the uh, will be tested now. he will definitely be be tested against Eddie Chambers. Chambers again, Chambers got tested against a pretty heavy hitter in in uh, Pavetkin and lasted lasted the whole full fight and uh, I believe it was a ten round fight and uh, he never got hurt. I mean, I, he never he probably got hurt, but he never went down. Oh, so, never uh, never went down. So uh, you can he can definitely handle some heavy hands. Yep. So ESPN two Friday night fights is off this week, but the following week on July tenth. In Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, uh, on ESPN2, of course, you've got Matt Godfrey as the main event against Sean Hawk. That's a cruiserweight fight, 10 rounds also. Uh, you've got Chris Henry at light heavy taking on Sean George, whose biggest fight to date is uh, taking on Chris Bird. Chris Bird, who decided out of nowhere he wanted to be a light heavy again. I don't understand that. That I don't know. Still one of one of the and worst then, decisions of 08. And now he he decided he wants to fight Cruiser, so uh, Chris yeah. Bird's coming. He's going to be coming back to fight Cruiser now. It sounds like. And it's possible. And I don't mean the fight was a bad decision. The fight was stopped. It was a bad. Decision it was a bad for decision on that much weight on Chris Bird's part to His come down. His legs look really thin in that, and uh, they looked even thinner when he was flopping around. Very <laughs> interesting. Reno, Nevada, also on the 10th. Uh, that's <laughs> next Friday, a week from tomorrow. <laughs> You've got me. Like a bird. <laughs> You got Miguel Angel Huerta, who we've seen several times, against Rustam Nugayev. Uh, ten rounds at lightweights. Also, you've got Jesse Brinkley taking on <laughs> Mike Pascal. Ten rounds at light heavyweights. Tim, quick, what's another animal that flops around? <laughs> and then next Saturday night, July 11th, Sunrise, Florida, Showtime Action, Joseph Agbiko. 
or Adagabanadenko, if you're Emil trying to pronounce this, <laughs> versus Viktor Chinyan, one of Emil's favorite fighters. Uh, 12 rounds for Agbeko's IBF Bantamweight Championship <laughs> of the World. Just one of the few names you can pronounce. You've also got Antonio DeMarco <laughs> against Agnes uh, Ajaho. Uh, Steve Cunningham against Wayne Braithwaite, 12 rounds for the IBF Cruiserweight Eliminator. Love Steve Cunningham. Also, Miguel Mickey Rodriguez against Ivan Kirpa. And John Jackson against the dreaded TBA. And the very same night, next Saturday night, Newark, New Jersey on MainEvents.com. Probably not free. You're probably going to have to pay a little bit, but it will be worth it to see Bobby Gunn get in the ring against Thomas Adamek. 12 rounds for Adamek's ring and IBF Cruiserweight Championship of the World. Can you say rematch? Uh, you got Adamek and, uh, and Cunningham, Cunningham fighting, fighting on the same night. Not an accident. Yeah, and it's kind of kind of interesting to see that Cunningham's on Showtime and uh, and you see the the champ and, and Adamek having to fight in on uh, MainEvents.com. Uh, you would think it would have been the other way around after Adamek is it Adamek or Adamek? They say they say Adamek now. I hate Adamek. Adamek. Adamek in, in the, the Polish individuals do. Yeah, uh, well, Adamek is how they've been saying it on TV now. Yeah. Uh, but uh, he look, he's been looking really good since he moved up with Cruiserweight. Look who's worried about pronunciation. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, I, I, let, me, let me tell you something. They do change, <laughs> oh, they no. do change their pronunciations quite often in the box yes, of names. They do. Yeah, but they don't add letters. And you know you're going to get some stuff when Amos goes, all right, let me tell you something. <laughs> I'm going to file a grievance against this union, this bolo punch union. And I have to say that the last fight I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about before we take our final break of the night, uh, Kempton Park, South Africa. You've got Philip Endo versus Lovemore Endo. Um, basically... This is the battle for the Pauli Malinaji whoop my ass title <laughs> because both of these guys. Is it the Endo? Philip Endo against Lovemore Endo. Oh. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take our final break of the night. We'll be right back with our Golden Leaf Fighter You Should Know, and then we'll let you have your happy little evening. This is Bolo Punch. Talk to you in a bit. We didn't even talk about our career. Indiana Families for over 80 years is a member of both Independent Insurance Agent and Trusted Choice. They believe in the value of offering the best insurance companies to insure cars, trucks, and homes to the satisfaction of their owners. Rogan